Sydney Hughes Green Street, the 27th of December 1879 to the 18th of January 1954, was a British actor. While he did not work in films until the age of 61, he had a run of significant motion pictures in a Hollywood career lasting nearly a decade. Green Street is best remembered for his Warner Brothers films with Humphrey Bogart and Peter Lorre, which include The Maltese Falcon 1941, Casablanca 1942, and Passage to Marseille 1944. He became a naturalized United States citizen in 1925. Green Street portrayed Nero Wolfe on radio during 1950 and 1951. Early life Green Street was born in Sandwich, Kent, the son of Anne Baker and John Jarvis Green Street, a tanner. He had seven siblings. Green Street left home at the age of 18 to make his fortune as a salon tea planter, but drought forced him out of business. He began managing a brewery, and to escape boredom, took acting lessons. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Career. Green Street's stage debut was as a murderer in a 1902 production of a Sherlock Holmes story at the Marina Theatre, Ramsgate, Kent. He toured Britain with Ben Greet's Shakespearean Company, and in 1905, he made his New York City debut in Everyman. Thereafter, he appeared in such plays as a revival of As You Like It, 1914. Green Street appeared in numerous plays in Britain and America, working through most of the 1930s with Alfred Lunt and Lynn Fontana at the Theatre Guild. Throughout his stage career, his parts ranged from musical comedy to Shakespeare, and years of such versatile acting on two continents led to many offers to appear in films. He refused until he was 61. In 1941, Green Street began working for Warner Brothers. His debut film role was as Caspar Gutman, the Fat Man, co starring with Humphrey Bogart in The Maltese Falcon. The film also featured Peter Lorre as the twitchy Joel Cairo, a pairing that would prove durable. The two men appeared in some nine films altogether, including Casablanca, 1942, with Green Street as crooked club owner Senor Ferrari, for which he received a salary of $3,750 per week for seven weeks, as well as Background to Danger, 1943, with George Raft, Passage to Marseille, 1944, reteaming him with Casablanca stars Bogart, Laurie, and Claude Rains, The Mask of Demetrios, 1944, The Conspirators, 1944, with Hedy Lamar and Paul Henreid, Hollywood Canteen, 1944, Three Strangers, 1946, and The Verdict, 1946. In the last two in the list, and The Mask of Demetrios, Green Street received top billing. The actor played roles both in dramatic films, such as William Makepeace Thackeray in Devotion 1946, and witty performances in screwball comedies, for instance Alexander Yardley in Christmas in Connecticut 1944. Near the end of his film career, Green Street played opposite Joan Crawford in Flamingo Road 1949. After little more than eight years, Green Street's film career ended with Malaya also 1949, in which he was billed third, after Spencer Tracy and James Stewart. In those years, he worked with stars ranging from Clark Gable to Ava Gardner to Joan Crawford. Author Tennessee Williams wrote his one-act play The Last of My Solid Gold Watchers with Green Street in mind, and dedicated it to him. During 1950-51, Green Street played Nero Wolfe on the NBC radio program, The New Adventures of Nero Wolfe, based loosely on the rotund detective genius created by Rex Stout. <laughs> <laughs> Death and legacy Green Street suffered from diabetes and Bright's disease, a kidney disorder. Five years after leaving films, Green Street died in 1954 in Hollywood due to complications from both conditions. He is interred at Forest Lawn Memorial Park, Glendale, California, in the Utility Columbarium area of the Great Mausoleum, inaccessible to the public. 
He was survived by his only child, John Ogden Greenstreet, the 30th of September 1920 to the 4th of March 2004, from his marriage to Dorothy Marie Ogden. Actor Mark Greenstreet is a distant relative. Topic: <laughs> Academy Award nomination. equals <laughs> equals <laughs> filmography. <laughs>